Hello and welcome to the second part of the Windows 7 backup and recovery utility uh, exploration. In this segment we'll go ahead and explore really quickly uh, how to take a backup of your system drive to a locally attached disk uh, that has already been defined to the backup and recovery utility. So this is more of a, an example of a day-to-day -day, uh, operation uh, as opposed to my first video which was dealing with specifically with the um, initial setup of the uh, backup and recovery utility and taking your first backup. So, uh, as we can see, we have our uh, my computer or the, my computer dialog boxes up here. Uh, go ahead and give you a quick uh, example of how we got to there. We come down here to the start button and we select a computer. Very simple. Okay, we have here once again our C drive which is the uh, drive that we are backing up and we have the target uh, locally attached disk which uh, is called new volume and is E. On your system this might be listed as backup or free agent drive or something along those lines um, but and it may not necessarily be E as well it may be some some other drive letter but uh, in this case it is the E drive. Um, so if we want to go ahead and conduct a backup we just go ahead and right click that is a right click on the C drive just one click and then we go ahead and select properties we select the tools tab and then we select backup now now we come back here to uh, a familiar location uh, from our last video. This is the uh, Windows 7 Backup and Restore Utility dialog box. And once we have confirmed that in fact the E drive is our target uh, and that it has sufficient space, we go ahead and simply select Backup Now. After a brief moment, we can see that the dialog box has changed and that we have the backup in progress uh, bar is, uh, has started and um, yeah, that's pretty well it. Uh, if, we can, if we want, we can go ahead and view details and we can see that, uh, that the uh, what the backup is actually doing um, and we'll just allow it to go ahead and complete here. Uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video and when it's done we'll come back and look at it. Okay and we can see here that the um, backup has finished uh, successfully. So we simply go ahead and close down the dialog boxes that we opened and uh, we can proceed on with our day uh, knowing that our data is safe in a nice backup location. In the next video I'll begin to discuss uh, how to restore files uh, both at the file level and also at the image uh, level um, in the event of a failure or uh, intrusion or some other um, uh, disaster scenario that would require you to restore some files or your entire system. Thank you for watching. Once again, feel free to comment. I'm still refining my technique on this, so your input is valuable. Thank you.